Welcome to Dweller of the Dark. We are a channel honoring the yellowed and blackened bones of many prominent authors. We will be digging up several obscure, strange, and forgotten authors who influence many of the great horror, science fiction, and fantasy writers to date. Comment below if you like. If you have authors that you'd like to see recognized, list them in the comments or contact our author page. Subscribe for more tales of the horrifying, obscure, strange, and forgotten. We'll have quite a collection climbing out of the tombs. If you like any of our tales, comment, ring the bell, and crush the like button below. Unknown Horror Masters, the Skull and Bones collection has risen from the grave. More beast to be released soon. Find us on Fiverr to raise seven kinds of hell. Check out our other stories and our websites. YouTube, Bitch You, Rumble, Dweller of the Dark. Official website, DwellerofTheDark.com. Kindle Vela, new serialized novels and novelette. Weekly new episodes. Check out links below for Where the Wolf Dwells. The Curious Death of Dionysus Shall Not. Our books and ebooks are on Kindle Amazon. Follow, support us on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, Bandcamp. Dweller of the Dark. Children of Horror. The season of Halloween has arrived. To celebrate, we will be presenting one poem nightly of the best Halloween poems ever conjured to terrify and delight. And remember, devilishly devoted to horror and Halloween, may your souls always be. The Return of Sir Richard Grenville, first published in Red Shadows, 1968. One slept beneath the branches dim, cloaked in the crawling mist. And Richard Grenville came to him and plucked him by the wrist. No night wind shook the forest deep, where the shadows of doom were spread. And Solomon Cain awoke from sleep and looked upon the dead. He spake in wonder, not in fear. How walks a man who died? Friend of old times, what do ye hear? Long fallen at my side. Rise up, rise up, Sir Richard said. The hounds of doom are free. The slayers come to take your head to hang on the juju tree. Swift feet press the jungle mud where the shadows are grim and stalk. And naked men who pant for blood are racing through the dark. And Solomon rose and bared his sword and swift as tongue could tell. The dark spewed forth a painted horde like shadows out of hell. His pistols thundered in the night and in that burst of flame he saw red eyes with hate alight and on the figures came. His sword was like a cobra stroke and death hummed in its tomb. His arm was steel and knotted oak beneath the rising moon. But by him sang another sword and a great form roared and thrust and dropped like leaves the screaming horde to writhe in bloody dust. Silent as death their charge had been, silent as night they fled. And in the trampled glade was seen only the torn dead. And Solomon turned with outstretched hand, then halted suddenly. For no man stood with naked brand beneath the moonlit tree. Thank you for listening. Have a great night.